In this tutorial, we will cover how the Instance Movie Timer works. As you can see, we already have a movie package open, so I will go ahead and create an Instance Movie that contains just a single instance. And I'll go ahead and move this window so we can better see it. As the Instance Movie plays, you can see the timer in the top left of the Instance Movie window begin to increase. This timer displays the total elapsed time of the Instance Movie. The clock to the right of the Instance Movie Timer shows the total time of the Instance Movie. As you can see at the end of our Instance Movie, the two clocks are the same. Now let's create an Instance Movie containing multiple instances by making a movie from an entire row. And I'll go ahead and move this window like we did last time. You can see the total time clock is the total time of all the instances in our instance movie. In this case, about 4 minutes and 36 seconds. The instance movie timer continues to climb as we move from instance to instance, but it is relative to the total time in the instance movie, rather than the time of our original timeline that we coded. 